The Jewel community is taking safety into their own hands after a boating accident took the lives of two Iowa State students in March. The Jewel Fire and Rescue Team say they need a boat to prevent something like this from ever happening again. KCCI's Kayla James shows us how the people of Jewel are coming together to make that happen. Garen Zanker knows from firsthand experience the people of Jewel take care of their own. In Sunday's case, that meant mixing up a batch of potatoes for a now annual fundraiser. We were raising money to get this grocery store going. Zanker remembers the many fundraisers for the Jewel Market, one of those using hot beef sundaes from WG Provisions. I think when people are free to give out their own money, I think it means a lot more to them rather than having to do it. And now the same fundraiser that was used about a year ago to help save the Jewel Market is being used to help the fire and rescue team get a boat. This was spurred on after just down the road at Little Wall Lake, an accident took the lives of two Iowa State students. Oh, it could have been my kid. Dozens of cars lined up outside of the market. The accident still fresh on their minds. It was really tragic and I'm sorry to hear it happen. So yeah. they were caught off guard and that's what, yeah. that's what's even harder about it. Car after car drove up and people with money in hand Chill. drove off with their Sundays, but not before stopping to look at the boats. There's a need for a boat to be stationed out at the lake. Keenan Shannon is Little Wall Lakes Park Ranger. We've averaged 106 campers a weekend at the campground. This hard bottom boat would be kept at the lake. The fire station would keep the inflatable boat to aid the one at the lake or for ice rescues. When tragedy strikes, you never have enough hands on deck. Buying the boats is a much more achievable task after Sunday. This is one piece we haven't had and it'll be a great addition. The tragedy at Little Wall Lake left waves of trepidation throughout the community. But Sunday's event ended with a wave of appreciation for many in Jewel. In Jewel, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, 